This scenario demonstrates how the OCR functionality of the OpenText solution is incorporated into the invoice verification functionality in Espahana Cloud. The invoice, based on the electronic document attached or uploaded, is either automatically reconciled and posted, or a draft invoice is created. Imagine that the purchaser receives a PDF of an invoice via email. The purchaser can upload the PDF document and the OCR engine will extract the details of the invoice to create a draft invoice. The purchaser can then validate the data, post the invoice and release the payment block. The solution can be enhanced for increased automation by using intelligent robotics process automation to automatically upload supplier invoices based on email attachments. First, I'm going to show you how we can upload a supplier invoice. We'll create the upload with reference to a company code. Here under attachments, we can upload the PDF that we would have received via email from the supplier and then create that as a draft invoice. I can then show you that if we look uh, to filter for today's creation date. You'll then see the processing status is transferred with the upload status as being successful. Once the system has extracted all of the data, then the processing status will move into invoice draft created. And once we have processed this invoice and posted it into the system, um, the status then becomes invoice created. Next, I'm going to show you how we can check the invoice draft creation, validate the extracted data, and then post the invoice into the system. So if we again filter for today's invoice creation date uh, and a draft status, we should be able to find the invoice that was created uh, as a result of the, uh, the upload of the PDF. We can then drill down into this uh, draft invoice and you can see that the fields such as the company code, the gross amount, um, the invoice reference number, the dates, invoice party and the invoice items. Um, you can see we've ordered a bike here, uh, 95 uh, quantity and even down below we have our payment terms, uh, payment method, etc. All of which is coming off this um, invoice that we uploaded, um, which we can open. So that you can see that the extracted data in the invoice creation does match. In fact, there's the description of the item, 95 quantity, as I showed you, the unit price, total price, all match, uh, invoice number matches, the date matches, payment terms, currency, it all matches. All I need to do now, as you can see, the system's highlighted that the tax code field in red here needs some uh, addressing. So I'll just enter a tax code and we then should be able to check to see if there's any errors, which there isn't. And then we can simulate what that will look like if we are to post it into the system. We can now then see that the uh, the GL accounts for our debits and credits are listed here with the correct amount. Everything looks fine. I can then post that into the system. And the invoice has now been created uh, with a block for payment. And here's the invoice number listed. And finally, all we need to do is remove the payment block. So we can search for the supplier. For the US company code, uh, which we used before. And let me rearrange the data to find the latest uh, with reference to the purchase order. Here is that same purchase order um, all we have to do is select the checkbox and unblock the item. And this is then no longer blocked for payment and this can go on for the payment processing uh, within accounts payable.
Whilst the invoice processing via OpenText and S4HANA Cloud solution can provide automation through reconciliation and posting rules, the invoices still need to be manually uploaded into the OCR engine of OpenText as seen in the demo. With the number of daily or monthly invoices potentially reaching high volumes, manual uploading becomes a repetitive and time-consuming task, which will ultimately slow down the rate of invoice processing. With the SAP Intelligent Robotics Process Automation, users can search the bot store for pre-delivered best practice IRPA packages. In this case, we want the IRPA package for automatic upload of supplier invoices. For this package, the bot takes emails with supplier invoices as attachments and calls the OpenText OCR service to read the content of the invoice and then an upload of the invoice is made to Svana Cloud to do a two or three way match posting based on rules defined. The bot can be configured to use one of two trigger types, attended and scheduled. Attended allows the package to be deployed and distributed to a specific group of agents so that users can trigger the job manually. With this trigger type, the bots are co-working with humans in what's called robotics desktop automation. Scheduled creates jobs according to the schedule defined in the trigger so that users do not need to start a job manually. This trigger type provides a fully automated process where the robots are working autonomously with human supervision only. The components of SAP IRPA uses the Cloud Factory for configuration, orchestration and monitoring and a desktop agent for triggering the job using one of the two trigger types, which I've already mentioned. There is also a desktop studio for project development and custom creation of IRPA scenarios. For the purpose of this demo, I will be using the attended trigger type so that you can see the bot working and I will be using the Cloud Factory for the job monitoring and the desktop agent to trigger the job. We'll also be using Outlook to view the output result in the form of an automatic email. We'll then go into the system to check the upload of the invoice. Here we are in the IRPA Cloud Factory. This is the home page where you have the ability to access the help portal for documentation and config guides. You can access the release information via the What's New documents, and you can even apply to see upcoming features via the roadmap. At the bottom, we have a mini dashboard to show recent activities. At the top, you'll see the different tabs. And if I go to the environments tab, you'll see that I've already created an environment. If we drill down into this, I can then walk you through the configuration of this environment. I've set up an agent. I've added a trigger, which is the attended type as previously explained. I've deployed the package, which is the automatic upload of supply invoices, which I retrieved from the bot store. And then I've defined some variables such as the company code, the mail ID for scanning the invoices. Um, I've set up a communication user and I've defined the system URL. The desktop agent is connected with the cloud factory and will pick up all of the packages which have been deployed. So all I need to do is access the desktop agent to kickstart the job and then we can review the job log in the Cloud Factory to see if it was successful or not. Then we can go to Outlook to see the automatic output results email, which has been sent to the specified success folder. So let's now kickstart the bot. Let me go into Outlook and show you that I've already sent myself, um, for the purposes of this demo, uh, an email with an invoice attachment in PDF format. I've already created the success and failure subfolders in my inbox. All I need to do now is go to the desktop agent. We already have the package running, which is displayed here. And all we need to do is trigger it. The bot is then running in the background and we'll use the file path to locate uh, the Excel spreadsheet there you can see it's being pulled up to identify the company code and the mail ID and the system URL. It will then also pull up Outlook to generate the automatic email and scan the inbox to pick up the invoice attachment as well. That has now been completed. So if we go to the monitoring tab, drop down and see the job log, we should see if we look at the time, uh, 6.43, here it is here, 6.43, it is successful. We can drill down into that to see the actual log and you can see that it's successfully fetched all the factory variables. Let's go into Outlook and we will be able to see the automated report 
which is marked as red and moved to the success subfolder, which is over here. And if I go to that, you'll see that the email I showed you before that I sent myself with the invoice attachment has been moved from the inbox to the success uploaded invoices subfolder. We can now go into the actual S4HANA cloud system so that we can see that the bot has processed the invoice through the OpenText OCR engine as I showed you in the first demo. So we'll filter on today's creation date. And you can see this top result um, with the file name invoice exoserve.pdf. That's what I named the invoice. If I go back to Outlook, you should be able to see that here. That is the correct um, upload line item. And you can see the upload status is successfully uploaded and it's currently in the transferred processing status. And as I explained before, once the OCR engine has finished um, reading all the, the data off the invoice, then it will create a draft invoice, which we can then um, process further. Combining s Cloud for invoice processing by OpenText with intelligent robotics process automation for the automatic upload of supplier invoices provides an increased level of automation for what would otherwise be a very manual, repetitive and time-consuming process. If you would like further information on s Cloud for invoice processing by OpenText and intelligent robotics process automation, then please see the description of this video as I have provided URLs which will take you to the slide decks which you see on screen. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.